The EIGRP unequal load balancing feature is a sight to behold when it works. Now, to make it work, you first have to have feasible successors. That's not a given. You have to have a backup pathway that passes the feasible successor test, which is a comparison of the reported distance versus the feasible distance. And the reported distance of the candidate has to be less than the feasible distance. That's basically the metric of the successor. So we're always going to use the successor, but we could install one or more feasible successors. So the variance command says, how low will you go? How bad will you get? If your value is 1, which is the default, it won't go any worse than the successor, which means this feature is off. If you choose a value above 1, up to 128, that indicates how bad it will be. So let's say your metric of the candidate feasible successor was five times worse than the feasible distance. Then you'd want a variance that is reflective of that ratio. I often choose something one or more worse. Let's do this in the wild. And I want I want you to look at this topology, and I want you to find a creative place for us to use this feature. Where would I use the feature? Well, there's really not a lot going on on our 1, 2, 3, 4, where it would be tremendously useful. Well, maybe 4, okay? I don't want to say not 4. But what we want is something that is close to the best way, the best route, which would be the successor. I want something built into my topology that is suited for this, where I don't have to fiddle with a lot of parameters to make it work. And I think that R7 is up to the task. If we look at R7 going to 172, 16, 32, there are really two different ways of getting to 172, 16, 32. There's the more direct pathway over the direct serial line. But we could also go through a fast Ethernet link, bounce through a WAN connection, through another WAN connection, and get there. I don't think that's too bad. And maybe we have a successor for that route already. So that's what I need. I need a successor. So we'll go in, and I'll do a show IP EIGRP topology. I need to validate that I have a feasible successor for something. And let's say it's the 32.0 network. So that would be this one right here. Now, it's not going to tell us if we have a feasible successor. We have to be able to derive that ourselves. We have to be able to determine that ourselves. And so what we're looking at is the reported distance of the feasible successor candidate has to be less than feasible distance. Is 28,000 less than 2.6 million? Seems like a silly question when it's asked that way. But the answer is yes. 28,000, the reported distance of the candidate, is less than the feasible distance. So guess what? This is a feasible successor. Great! Isn't that awesome? So that's going to be the one that we watch. We might actually have more feasible successors going on, but that's going to be the one that I want to manipulate control. And so right now, I do a show, I'm going to do a show IP protocols. The variance command is one. I'm going to look at my routing table. And I'm going to look for connectivity to that network. Specifically, I want to see two different routes. And even more specifically, I want to see that they're unequal in terms of their metric. They'll have the same administrative distance of 90, but I want something else to be jammed in here. So here's what I want to do. I want to do router, eIGRP100, variance. Now, I, I actually remember the value that I was thinking when I was looking at the topology table. I, I want a variance of 3. But let me show you how I derived that. So I'm going to look at my EIGRP topology table. 
And I want you to show me, or tell me, I can't hear you unfortunately, but I want you to tell me the ratio of these two metrics, the feasible successor metric versus the successor. If I double the feasible distance, that doesn't get me quite good enough. I need to triple this value, which will get me up to about 7 million, 7 million and change, which is now inclusive of the metric. That's how the variance command works. That's how the variance operates. Multiply the feasible distance by the variance. That's how bad you will go. So do variance three, shrink my topology table, look at my routing table now. Oh, wow. You can see it already, and this isn't even the one that I was talking to you about. You can see it already. Isn't that a glorious thing? Routes with different metrics for the same routing protocol to the same destination. That is unequal load balancing. Very exciting. So if I want to verify this, I'll do a show IP protocols. We'll see our variance is set to three now. And I also might do a show run section e edger p and I might see it this way. But the variance command is a very powerful command that allows us to do the unlikely, and that is to use suboptimal routes in our routing table and inject them into our routing table.